going the extra mile to help. Do you enjoy a challenge? Are you interested in charity work? Can you climb a mountain or cycle thousands of miles to help people in need? Sometimes people are kinder and more generous than we can ever imagine. There are many young people around the world who deserve to be honoured. They have worked hard and have really gone that extra mile to help an important cause. Take Katie Spots, for example. She became the first person to row solo across the Atlantic Ocean. But breaking a record was not her only ambition. She wasn't just interested in accomplishing a personal goal. My hope is to make people realise they're capable of much more than they think, Katie says. The 22-year-old African girl rode an incredible 4,533 kilometres from Senegal to Guyana in her six-metre rowing boat. She did this to raise money and awareness for the Blue Planet Run Foundation. It is an organisation whose objective is to get clean drinking water to over one billion people worldwide. Katie rode over 10 hours a day for 70 days and raised over $70,000 for the foundation. She hopes her feat will encourage other young people too. But Katie is not alone. There are other amazing young people out there who have overcome obstacles to help others. They have accomplished many physically difficult tasks to help a charity. An 18-year-old named Chris Albertin from Exeter, UK was really brave. He had broken his ankle so badly that the doctor said he might never walk properly again. But Chris had a dream and would do anything to make it come true. He managed to climb 6,000 metres to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain. He did it with 59 other students and together they raised a total of £138,000 for Child Reach International. This is a charity that helps children and their families who live in poverty. Both Katie and Chris are a true inspiration to everyone. Our last example comes from the UK. Here, there is an 18-year-old named Luke Birch, who is a bit of a local hero. He swam 33 kilometres across the cold waters of the English Channel for charity. The scary thing is that he got stung by a jellyfish. Unfortunately, the rules of the charity event didn't allow him any assistance. But he kept swimming despite the pain of the sting. He faced rough waters and windy conditions, but he persisted. Finally, he arrived in France after 14 hours. Thanks to his determination, he raised £7,885 for Macmillan Cancer Support in the UK. Some of the money also went to Planting Promise, a charity that helps build schools in Sierra Leone. Have you heard any other stories about people like Katie or Luke? Why do you think charity work is important? <laughs>